Welcome back to Soul Box. I'm glad you joined us. Our verse for today is from Job 10:12. It says, "You have granted me life and favor, and your care has preserved my soul." Job 10:12. We've come in the part of Exodus where God is going to do one final plague on Pharaoh and the Egyptians, and I want to focus on verse three of chapter 11. The Bible says in verse three. And the Lord gave the people favor in the sight of the Egyptians. Moreover, the man Moses was very great in the land of Egypt, and in the sight of Pharaoh's servants, and in the sight of all his people. You know what? I believe that many times God's favor is attached to his purpose for our lives. We may not always feel like or experience the favor of God. I'm sure the person going through a heartbreak divorce, or the death of a loved one, or perhaps even the disciplined hand of the Lord for our actions isn't feeling the favor of the Lord. In fact, there are times when we may feel like we're more under a curse than under God's favor. This is when we're really going to find out what we believe about God. Not long ago, as you guys remember, Moses wasn't very popular. Pharaoh mocked him. The Hebrew people were angry at him. And he felt God had let him down. He had to stand firm and trust God in the midst of the storm, no matter what he felt, no matter what he heard, and no matter what he saw. And he did. And now God was pouring out his favor on Moses and the Hebrew people. Certainly God loves you and me. He wants to bless his children and show us favor. But we also know that we go through trials and difficulties and hardships that do create character and grow our faith, trust, and love in Christ Jesus. But even if we were to give our earthly lives for the sake of Christ and die for our faith, we would wake up with God's great favor. We would be in the presence of Almighty God and Jesus Christ his Son. I believe James 5.11 is a good reminder no matter what we're going through. It says, Indeed, we count them blessed to endure. You have heard of the perseverance of Job and seen the end intended by the Lord, that the Lord is very compassionate and merciful. You know what? When we go through hard times, we tend to view, to view God through them. It's human nature. But you know what? We have to trust Him in His Word even when things look hopeless. God is good, but sometimes life is not good. The best favor we could ever have is to be saved have our names written in heaven, and be sealed with God's Holy Spirit. I hope you'll join me in believing that no matter what we're going through, it's God's intention for our good, and His favor is coming. I want to read you Psalm 30, verse 5. It's one of my favorites, and it says, For His anger is but for a moment, His favor is for life. Weeping may endure for a night, but joy comes in the morning. God bless you. I hope you keep coming back and checking us out at Soarbox. See you next time.